there's probably at least 60 birds on the ground already. And they're still coming out of the trees. This could be interesting. Last year I heard about this really cool place in Texas that had an awesome place to stay and it was loaded with turkeys. This might have been just a little bit of an understatement. Welcome to the 5R Ranch. Oh yeah, we're gonna be roughing it on this trip. Have we made it in life? We might have finally made it. Hunting Habit is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, Mossy Oak, Loopold Optics, Rage Broadheads, Muzzy Bow Fishing, Avian X, Tracker Boats, Winchester Ammunition, and Nocturnal Lighted Knocks. We just rolled up out here at the 5R Ranch in Persall, Texas. And I'm just going to go ahead and straight up tell you, uh, this is probably my long lost kin folks. Um, Robert's got spread, I ain't going to lie. Uh, this place is just absolutely awesome. Come in here, unloaded everything, grabbed one of his rifles, fixed to get the high rack. We're going to go look for turkeys. And he said, oh yeah, the grass is about perfect height, so we'll probably see some pigs. So, yada! Borrowed gun, shells, woo! I love Texas. I'm super jacked up. I, just. Getting to ride around and look at it before we actually stomp around and chase turkeys is going to be going to do me a little bit of good. Probably won't be able to sleep tonight though. I'll just go ahead and pre-warn you. We have rode all over this ranch. I don't know how many counties we've covered, but we have seen turkeys and deer everywhere. I can't wait till in the morning. It's open in the morning out here in Texas, and it feels great. This is. Absolutely nice. And I'm not talking about the temperature, I'm just talking about the lack of precipitation. It's been getting rained on all spring, so now it is absolutely time to hunt the turkeys. I know Rios are notorious for being, you know, wadded up in big groups, but nothing could have prepared me for this morning. Jesus, and all the turkeys out here. They're from one side of the field to the other. My lord, what a flock of turkeys. Now this is gonna be really good or really tough. I don't know how this is gonna unfold yet, but we can hear turkeys everywhere and we can see a ton of them. There's just too many. I mean, they're everywhere. There's some over there, there's some over there. There's just way too many. I can't say that I've ever run into this problem turkey hunting before. All right, watch these two come around that tree. Hey, these might do it. They're taking a different line than those other ones. Oh yeah, they like that. Here it comes. <laughs> that was close. Man, give me some of that, brother. Hey, uh, yes. Opening morning out here at Texas, and we just dusted a big old Rio. I mean, 12 yards. That was awesome. I know y'all gonna be mad because I didn't let him whoop up on the decoys, but this is the first turkey of the season. I wasn't waiting. Yes. Let's go check him out. He caught the full pattern. I hate to see it. Oh, yeah. Easy, fella. Easy, easy, easy now. Man, his head got destroyed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I oh. think that's what you call blowing one's beak off, oh, man. What a choke you got in that gun, man. Oh <laughs> that's a little bitch. Oh yeah. That's the thing about it, is when they get in that tight, like I get nervous because I have missed them when they get that close because the pattern ain't that big. Yeah, you got but, tight, tight on. But it'll shoot 50 yards like it ain't nothing, but dang it, that's awesome. Sucker looks like you run out there with a chainsaw in here. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, sir. He could not stand that new Jake, could he? These birds are absolutely beautiful. That's what you come to Texas for right there. Just beautiful, freaking light tips and lots of goblin. But that sucker is a nice one. And the great thing about it is we ain't even an hour into the first day. We're headed to get some breakfast and get back to camp and check on Omar, AKA Crispy. See what he's up to. What's up? What's up, man? How's it been, buddy? Good, yeah. yeah doing good, doing yeah. good. What happened on the birds this morning? <laughs> I heard y'all was on the wrong side uh, of the fence. The wrong side of it. You know, it just happens is having me when I grew up, I got on the right side of the fence. And everybody's and on the Everybody got on the other side. <laughs> My name is Omar Villa and I go by AKA Crispy. And today we're out in Pearsall, Texas doing one of my favorite things, my passion, my love, hunting. I lost my right leg below the knee, but it hasn't slowed me down one bit. The outdoors is such a passion for me, it's been my therapy. What I experience out here, no doctor can ever prescribe to me, no medication can ever make me feel the way that I feel when I'm in the outdoors. You know, I met Crispy a couple trade shows ago and uh, hung out just for a little bit, cutting up. And this is the first time we've ever, ever got to hunt together. You know, he laughs all the time. He's like me, he's always cutting up, cracking jokes. And he's out here just like us, picking them up, putting them down. But, oh, oh yeah, he killed a turkey too. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Comes right in, puts on a heck of a show, and gets hammered. Hold on. Let me see that gangster walk just one more time. After Crispy kills his bird, we're headed back out. We still got three more tags. They're coming. Y'all nasty. <laughs> Fix the coach. <laughs> day two, <laughs> not going as good as day one did. These turkeys. Goblin, but just they're not responding to calls. They're gobbling on their own. We're in the middle of three groups of gobblers, and all of them are holding their ground. Ain't nobody making a budge. They're being nasty and filthy animals today, and they're going to jail. You know, we're hearing a ton of birds, but they're all grouped up, and it's making it just a little bit tough to hunt. Would you believe after that first day of hunting that the last day of the hunt, we'd still have three tags left? There we go. Well, they gotta be right behind those trees. Right there, right, right there, yep, 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 yep. There's three of them. Got him, son. Woo! Oh. <laughs> What's the freaking chances of that? The firing pin did not even hit the thing primer. I cannot believe I heard it click. Uh, well, when it clicked, I thought, did I unload my gun this morning? I, I was about to vomit. I knew there was a live round in there. God, I can't believe that. But shucked one in there and smoked it. That right there is why we shoot Longbeard XR. I mean, that turkey was smooth, 45, 50 oh, yeah. yards. And it, it hit him, yeah, it hit him like a ton of bricks, but that's the difference between a turkey and not a turkey. 
Let's go get him. If my legs will work, they're broke. <laughs> Them two seen something. When they come in there, I think they've seen us. They just slammed the brakes on. But old dude, he couldn't stand it. He wanted to come on in. Oh, he, he was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna win this fight. <laughs> and then the click, he's like, wait a minute, that ain't natural. Look at that. And that was that far away and it just rolled him up. These little guns are sharp. He might have just been the one that was gonna take it because he's a little bigger than the other two. I don't know. That or he's gonna come fight us after the day we go. I don't know. It's a dang good time, brother. I'm so happy. Yes. Thanks, thanks so much, hey, man. They made us work for it, though. Oh. God, man, I can't believe how many turkeys were in here. I mean, no kidding, it was 360 gobbling this one, and then they hit the ground and shut up. This guy taught us something. Sit still on it. And now we got two more. Yep. Well, let's go get after them. Let's go get it. So Robert has to go handle some ranch chores, and reluctantly, he popped me and Caleb the keys. So we got full run of this entire ranch. It's on. We've been chasing these suckers for freaking two hours. And they just got right up on top of this hill. I mean, it's gonna be tight, but I'm afraid to go any further. So uh, let's just get set down in the shade and see what happens. We'll be alright. Yeah, let's get them. Come on. Right here, they're coming down the fence line. Dude, I absolutely lost it when they kicked the head off the decoy. <laughs> that is too close. I swear I'm never putting the decoys that close again. I whiffed him that close. And they're like, what the crap? And then I, then I just went to cutting them down after that. Daggum, we are tagged out in Texas. And I'm going to tell you right now, we worked our butts off for it. But we got them. Got them both. I think we only got one on film. Look at the crime scene. It's an absolute crime scene up here. Look, they kicked the head off the decoy. There's blood all over her. It's just savages, Texas savages. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The shooting wasn't much, but the killing made up for it. That tells you how close they were. Look, I was bouncing the dang red wad off of them. Let's go up here. I got another one up here. I think it was off camera kill, but I got excited. You thought you was just going to run away, didn't you? Huh? Fella? If you live by the gun, you die by the gun, Mr. Hook. Look at that. He ain't got much on this side. But oh, Big Daddy. And we're tagged out in Texas. Wasn't pretty. But I ain't pretty. I'm just effective. I want to say thanks to the Rutherford family down here at the Five Bar Ranch. This place is absolutely unreal. You know, we're not used to going to places this nice, I'll be honest with you. And just the beauty that this ranch holds, I mean, it's straight up South Texas. But thank you guys, and uh, please, if you ever get any more turkeys that you need pop, holla.